Mm. What's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm Jasmine Brand. I'm Laura Mora. And it's the one and only Cash Doll. AKA Cash's mother. That's who you are now. Yeah, I'm Cash's mom. <laughs> yeah. I'm a mom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in love. Aww. So yeah. sweet. Well, Cash Doll is here. I always tell you your family. I'm excited to have you here. I'm on the intro to the new mixtape, by the yeah, way. Yeah, you are. I you are. It. <laughs> you definitely on there. I said, I think that's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, she had to play it back. Like, is that my, is that my voice? Yeah. That me? <laughs> but I had to. Cash Doll. <laughs> what up, though? I speak out. Doll, I'm in this and y'all know I love me some cash doll. I say it all the time. Cash doll. Good. No, you know my girl. I know that's right. <laughs> Especially what I was saying. You know, right. cash right. doll ain't no joke. And this mixtape proves it, by the way. We're glad. I appreciate that. Because yeah. you know what? This mixtape is so special because I really had to go back to my roots. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I don't know if everybody had kids. You ain't had no kids yet. I, I have a 16 year old. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. But I she I just one, had I have one. one. How old is Rain? A year and a half. That's okay. a shame, Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a 22 and a 12 year old. So, you know, after you had that baby, you be trying to find yourself again, kind of like you forget everything. Mm -hmm. It's like everything is the baby, the baby. And then I stay with my man and my man, my man and diaper pamper it's a routine crying I, I can't get my nails done I didn't get my hair done I'm just trying to find myself again and it was like when I finally was able to come back around a little bit I'm like I need to get back to my roots and that's why it's called back on Dexter that's where I'm from in Detroit mm -hmm. Dexter and Dre Road I feel like after you give birth um everything changes like your mind changes from all your organs moving around, mm -hmm. like everything. Your hormones, your is bladder. different. Yeah. Like I used to can hold using the restroom. Now it's like, I got to get it out. Everyone oh. says that. I, I have to get it out could. right now. Jasmine be peeing <laughs> like five times an hour. I was yes. going all the time. Yes. I, was always, I was going all the time before. But it was awful when I was pregnant, though. Yes, well, when bad. I was pregnant, it's, it was yes, pathetic. It was pathetic yes. when yes. I was pregnant. It's, it's still bad. I just should have stayed in the damn tub. Then it, I should have, yeah. Do you, do, you, do you feel like yourself yet? <laughs> Honestly, truly, I'm like 85% there. Okay. Mm -hmm. How I'm, long does it take to feel like yourself? How long? Never. Again, never. Okay. Because I don't feel right, like myself. That's like, what I was going to mm -hmm. say. Like your life forever changed. Yeah. Like my life You're has changed the since same. the age of 16. So it's like sometimes I feel like for people to understand, like they don't understand mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Especially men. Uh, yes. Well, look, I don't understand it, but but I can, oh I can imagine, but I can't understand. But it. you've oh talked me through some. You're more uh, understanding than I would think you would be not having a child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You talked me through. I some talked very, to so many yeah. of my friends through their pregnancies before I had one. I just be on the phone like, girl, you're not gonna be pregnant for long. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be good. <laughs> gonna have you're gonna that's the same kind of talk you would get. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. And look, and then one of our friends who who has a kid. Told you she was like, take your life back. You have to take mm. your life back. And it really and, feels like that. Like yeah. you gotta get, you yeah. gotta find yourself again. And that's why this is so important. How and did you this, find your? How did you find yourself for this project? Like, what did you do to get your mind back to pre mommyhood, pre BMF? <sighs> like, how did you get? Oh my god! Because right after I had him in January, I was filming in February Ooh. for BMF. That's why I was real chunky. That on, is not a game right. on there. That's I was really wild. Chunky. Yeah. But what I had to get right back to it, so that I couldn't do the breastfeeding that long. I tried it, um, and I was like, "All right, remembering lines, getting back to getting back to that, not feeling secure with myself on camera. You already got extra right. weight on camera, and I already got extra weight from my baby. I'm like, so yeah. y'all making you insecure. I'm yeah. insecure in the right. inside. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like doing nothing but being a mom because it's a routine. I was a zombie for right. a long right. time. Yeah. And so when I got done filming, it was like, all right, I had a little breather room, right? Then it was hot outside. He started holding his own bottle. It's like, all right, cool. I guess <laughs> I got me a little extra time or whatever. So um, that happened. And then it was like... um. I was just like, man, I gotta, I gotta do something to make myself feel. Cause I was, I was doing shows. Mm -hmm. Shows was coming in. I gotta keep the money rolling in. Yeah, you know what I'm I saying? Cause that. I've been sitting for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The shows start coming in. I, I have a way, a whole bunch of more uh, sources of income, and I was doing all that. And I'm like, I need to do something to make me have fun again. I want to have fun, and I love music. It's mm -hmm. a passion for me. So I called my brother Joseph McFashion, and he from, he from the city too. And that's like we've been knowing each other over a decade. And I'm like, if I'm a, like, I was telling him, I sent him a song that I've been dead. And he was like, no, you need to get back in that one bag. Like, and I'm like, well, shit, I want to. 
how? <laughs> Come back to Dexter. <laughs> how? He's like, man, you need to get back on them Detroit beats. You need to get back in there. And I'm like, you right. And he do he do that. So he like, look, we need to put a project together. Out of all of these years, we have never done them together. We just genuinely been brothers and sisters. He never been around me. Let's do a project. Let's do a project. He never forced her to ask a million times. And it was just like this time, it was just perfect. I had left my last deal, got a new one. Right then and there, I'm like, it's lining up. I'm like, now I got creative control. Right. This is perfect. I could do what I want to do. Bam, we got, he flew to Atlanta. I'm like, for me to get my feet back wet, we I got to be in the house and comfortable. I need to be able to bring my baby. I can't be in no <laughs> studio with something loud. Mm -hmm. So Cashin yeah. came on over there. It was me. I trust him. That's my brother. That's Cashin's uncle. He was holding him while I record. Oh, and God, we awesome. got it done. Like we, we, <laughs> we sat at an Airbnb that he, and we I was in a closet recording it. That's like dope. I needed to feel back like. Rugged, right. not right. Rugged. That. Studio, the nice production sound. <laughs> no, I needed it to sound as rugged as possible. And you know what? Is it different when? Because you don't need to do music, right? You're making, like you said, a lot of income mm -hmm. doing other things. Yeah. And when you first came out, you know, you always was getting to the bag. Yeah. But the music was your first like main source of income. Yeah. Now the acting is yeah popping and then off. everything, all the little deals, and then mm -hmm. investments and stuff like that. So then it's like. But that's not fun. Well, acting is fun. Yeah. Acting is fun. Taking pictures is fun. So <laughs> I got to okay. take pictures. That's cool. And um, making music and videos, that's fun to me. But that's like, I feel like the most work. Like going on tour. Yeah, that and, sounds yeah. draining. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot. Like city to city, going from here to the there. Bus, you know, when like it, it become a lot when you're flying. But right. when you like on tour, on, tour on bus. bus and... You got you can you you got a little stability there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you could have your stuff in one spot. You get to get up and wash your face with your facial. It's, it's <laughs> like it's different when you got you know a a, sta a stability. Right. But like when you on a plane and you in hotels, it's not the same. You'd have been lost luggages, lose another shoe, got damn jury, you know, forgot in the damn Ooh, safe. That hurts. And, yeah. It's just, it's like, it's just like you all over the place. So I know Little what you're gypsy, saying. Yeah. 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 So it's like when you on the tour bus though, it's better. And then it's fun to me. Like I love performing. I love right. seeing my fans, man. That should make me happy. They be going oh, crazy man. for you. I went to go see Cash Doll when she was in New York when you was on tour with Meek Mill. Oh yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah. I don't just be going out for no reason, but no. I was like, let's go see Cash Doll. <laughs> <laughs> I was with um, Lala. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I was just TMZ was down. See, I just told them, don't play with me about Lala. I go on y'all shit. <laughs> no, no, no. They just said something about her with Javinci on BMF, and I was like, man, people do it all the time in real life, and she's acting. So what? She getting paid to do it? Let me fuck <laughs> hey. Like, don't play with me about Lala. Oh god, <laughs> you had a little sex scene too, okay? Right. On BMF. By the way, BMF. I don't miss that show. You know. You, you like VML? Yes. I love I like BML. It too. I, I wait. You know what? I didn't watch it with the cast or watch it beforehand. I watch it with everybody because I want to see it. Really? With everybody. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's fine. And, and too, I got a problem. Like, I'm real, like, I be criticizing myself. So if I seen it with everybody, I would be thinking about it like, damn, everybody about to watch me. So now when I watch it with the world, I can't do shit about it. Right? <laughs> Are you so serious? Like, can y'all <laughs> see that? Yeah. Right. A lot of actors and actresses don't like watching themselves. So you watch yourself mm -hmm. and you don't, it's fine. It's cool. It's just when I'm looking ugly, I'll be like, mm. I mean, that's the only part that makes me mad. All this HD is <laughs> right. But to be clear, okay, Cash Doll has always been an actress. What I tell y'all, in 211. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I go always way back. say, you did a great job, though. Thank like, you. Early is that the clip on. you were just showing us? Yeah, mm -hmm. I was Thank showing you. them. Yep. I, was yep. like, I started a long, long time ago <laughs> in Detroit. I always wanted to do all this stuff. Like, mm -hmm. always. It's just always been a passion. I used to tell people in my classroom, like, you don't want to be my friend. It's cool, but don't try to be my friend when I'm rich and famous. Right. I'm going to be on your TV and I'm I'm going to be really rich. And I used to be telling people that. That's <laughs> so <laughs> funny. I, get that I, that I swear, people used to be like, oh, what are you going to be when you grow up? I'll be like, oh, I'm going to be P. Diddy and the family. I'm going to be on private <laughs> jazz. <laughs> I'm going to be drinking champagne. Look, you used to tell them that. Like, that's what I'm be doing. Low. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it all. <laughs> and they'll be like, well, how? I'll be like, I, so I don't what know. Is gonna it's going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> but listen, and it did, it did. and like to see Cash Doll, by the way, boot up is a whole nother yes. situation too. It is. <laughs> I know. My a man, my man, my grown. man. Mind your business. <laughs> yeah. It's my life. Yeah, you know what? That just happened. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, y'all went out there to go film the first season, and he been we he been at it. He been trying, and I'm like, you know what? I'm out here. I ain't doing that. I'm single. 
you know, you want you know everybody yeah. want a little friend they go hang out with, yeah, have a couple have dinner, drinks, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Or I'm whatever. Bored. Yeah. That nigga came over, y'all, he ain't left. <laughs> <laughs> He's still there. <laughs> He's still there. But what, so what made him so special? Cause I know everybody was in Cash Dolls DM. Everybody be trying to holler. What made Tracy T the one that you were like, you could stay? You know, <laughs> you can stay over. Um, you know what? It's the personality. I love fun, fun mm-hmm. and funny. Like personality you win over everything. Then nice. you cute. Mm-hmm. And you got that good ass hair. Not the good hair. You got in his family. He's nice nice baby. <laughs> teeth his is important. Smell when good. you saw him, did you think I, I want to have a kid with him? And the kid is extreme. Well, but, I mean, you have one, so I don't know if it's extreme. <laughs> right. <laughs> it happened. But that, extreme? that wasn't like the first thought. It was like after I seen how he treated his other kids, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And he is he fine to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, <laughs> no, but those little things you mentioned, it's like those are the unsaid things that you notice good on teeth. a man. The yeah, the good teeth, breath, the breath, right? the good the hygiene, I know, I know, like, the hair, the I nice know you skin. said you don't like dirty fingernails, so don't like, touch me. <laughs> those are those are like the unsaid <laughs> things. He, got the he was getting manicures mm-hmm. often. You oh, know, nice. he smelled good. You know, his yeah, nails say the fragrance. Good. Like you have to smell good. I love yeah, a man like, who smell good. Like you know, so it was like, oh my god, then. <laughs> And then I, I just noticed how with me, he 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 was different. Mm-hmm. You know, like like I'll tell him one thing, like when I first got around him, he wasn't opening doors. Mm. And I'm like, who the hell he been dating? I said, hey. exactly. I told him, right. I said, you gotta open the door for me. And I noticed how he he wanted to do it. Yeah, he snapped. Yeah. He you was, know what? That is so true. You could tell if a guy's been in like real relationships or not by certain things like, do they walk on the outside mm-hmm. of the sidewalk? Mm-hmm. Do they open the door mm-hmm. for yes. you? Yes. You they, know, do they call and ask you, do you want something to eat before they come? Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, it was so much stuff I had to teach him. And I was like, wow, these bitches really be doing this. Like, they just allow a nigga to just... <laughs> but... And when I told him, I never had to tell him again. Right. And that I like that because he was that's trainable. effort. He's yeah, list- and exactly. He yeah. He wants to learn and wants to be that guy for me. So I'm right. like, no, that's what's beautiful. better than this? Now, what did he yeah. have to teach you? <laughs> First off, I never cooked. Oh, damn. Oh. I you never cooking now? I cook now. Yeah. I be in the kitchen. <laughs> I be washing clothes sometimes. Mm. <laughs> but, but you know, because you know, my maid just, the, my maid, my maid, um, my maid, me and my maid. <laughs> so me and her, we be so when she leave, I I gotta I gotta make show sometimes. Like right. Yeah, sometimes you gotta go and wash those important things, put the towels in there. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I be putting the towel in the towel warmer before you get out the, and the shower. Towel yeah. 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 What is a towel warmer? I don't have that. It warms you the towel. Have, I gotta get I'm a I love you. I've never heard they of They have them at hotels sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Or you put it in the dryer. Like at first I was putting it in the dryer. Like, okay, that's like awesome. right there. But then Put I end it in up there for ordering. A few the, minutes. Mm-hmm. Do you oh, have I a bidet? <laughs> Do I have a who? A bidet, the thing that um cleans your butt in the toilet. You know that no, shit. No, no. Okay. You see, I said no. <laughs> oh wait, I'm not one of those girls. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Talk about that. When I was in Eat Vegas butt. at the hotel, they had a bidet. I've never tried one. Oh I, my god, it's like amazing. Fabulous. I've never, I've tried, never tried it. Girl. Cause you know, after you shit, oh. you got a shower. But yeah, yeah but bidet. I just use wipes. <laughs> but with the and bidet, be, when I tell you, so there's a just feeling. You have a bidet, but I really like it. I'm like, it's clean your ass real good. It feel like okay. And Dude, it's like a surprise clean. how good it cleans yeah. you. You're like, people, oh. People like them. Really? You wipe after, you know, you got to, to dry. Yeah, yeah, you have right? to. Yeah, yeah. But okay, so back to the relationship. <laughs> how long okay. to get a bidet? Yeah, you I like that a lot. <laughs> and you need you the warm like seats. It. You need the bidet. Yeah, the okay, well, that's the warm seats. And then, like, the bidet. And then it has a dryer afterwards. So after it shoots the water to clean everything, then it has the dryer to turn on and dry your butt. Yes, it does. It sends you air. It feels luxurious. I'm about to switch that out. I got the warmer, the seat Oh, and you can actually buy it and put it on your current toilet mm. you know what I mean so you ain't gotta get a whole new you don't toilet. have to you mm. may have to have like someone come and store like the um the paddle for it to do all the things if you want the fancy one mm. you got that you mansion in right. Gross Point you need you're gonna love it mm-hmm. I, I, I got rid of it you did mm-hmm. hold up back up all right I did not know this yeah all right so you bought that when did you buy that house 2019 and that's a that, to be clear that's a mansion that's a mansion okay yeah. just to be clear yeah it's off the water right there on Lakeshore so what happened why'd you get rid of it man that was too much then mm-hmm. I got pregnant I wanted to be in Atlanta that was a lot to keep up. I had my family there. They, you know, they was it just was too much. I just needed to do 
what made but they had me at peace okay everybody like and everybody got to chip sense, in they like nah yeah. you <laughs> know what i'm saying yeah. it just and it's, when you have a seven bedroom or you know all of that it's a it? lot it's a lot it's, that was, it, it you was, don't need you you figure out i don't need all this space honestly truly it was seven bedrooms yeah that's it was 10 bathrooms sheesh it was Damn, 10 bathrooms it was a pool a salt water pool I know because you be rapping no, around the salt water. And, yeah. Yeah. and it ain't like you could use a pool that often in Detroit. Right. No, it's like a couple no, of exactly. months. Exactly. <laughs> the pond, I had a pond with fishes in there, koi fishes in you there. You got a feed. Yes, it's like the, the lawn, the, the the stone, the white stone brick got to get clean. That's that, a you lot You got to power wash that's that. A, that's a hole. You yeah. got the driveway that got, you don't want oil stains. You got to clean that often. The, don't talk about the maintenance of the marble floors. Wow. And like when other things is happening, like pipes and all that. No, exactly. You, your electric problems, it's, all kinds of water problems. It's too like much. I was I was with somebody and I remember I looked at his maintenance bill for his house to, you know, to take care of everything cuz he was gone for the season and when he came back, everybody just ruined it. Like yeah. he had people in the house. I went to BMF. It was a hundred and thirty thousand yeah. dollars. You went where? I went to go do BMF mm -hmm. when I met Tracy and got pregnant. You leave I people came in your back, house. It was like uh, you like nah. they wasn't maintaining it <laughs> at all. Shit. No. It's listen, true. but that is a learning lesson. Right, because yeah. sometimes you think, okay, I'm about to buy this mansion. I love my family. I want everybody here. Yeah. We're just gonna do it. All I gotta do is pay this mortgage every month, and then you realize there's a whole lot more to come with it. Wait, it's oh my god, it, not just the mortgage, the taxes, mm -hmm. the water bill was crazy from my pool. Crazy, oh, yeah, yeah, that DTE yeah. water bill for that big ass house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what man? It was just too much, and I was just like, it's just too much for me. Okay. It had me stressed out, so I just sold and it. And you had I, the experience. Yeah. And I did it. Yeah, yeah I right. did it. Say you I did, did it. it. And it was in my name. That's my house. I did it. And I sold it, and it's over. It's like, okay, I know I don't want to do that again. Right. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. 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 And I had a good time. You know what I'm saying? I enjoyed it for the two years I was there. Mm -hmm. You needed a living housekeeping maids and everything. You also need to that. be there more because yeah. yeah. it, it make more sense if you're you there. When you're there and, and I feel like you do those houses when you retire. Yeah. yeah. Not while you still or on the go. have mad kids. Yeah. yeah. Or you know? when they, Yeah, because you will be there. Yeah. Right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you on the go, you can't, ain't nobody going to take care of your stuff like you. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's not even saying my family wasn't, but ain't nobody going to do it like you. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, and then you could always buy something on Dexter. That's not a bad investment now. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Dexter I'm, I'm, came up. Yeah, and I'm, <laughs> they coming up. We coming up over there. We about to come up over there. We in, in the hood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But all right, so now Atlanta. So talk about like the first time y'all hooked up when he came and never left, right? Yeah. How long did it take for y'all to like get romantic? Oh, like a couple months. Really? A couple mm -hmm. of months? Yeah. Yes. You put him in the friend zone first? We just was, he was my boo for a minute, but I just wasn't about to just do that. Okay. A couple months? No, seriously. I feel like um relationships go so much better when you don't give your body fast. Not that fast. Even though I knew he was going to be around, I could, you know, you could tell when a dude just want that. And then you could tell when they want you. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And I knew he and did. And they respect it. It was, it was probably like, okay, so we started... In like January, the beginning of January, I flew out there. January the 2nd, who is that? We started dating, talking, da, da, da. He asked me to be his girlfriend February 14th. Wow, then, Valentine's like, Day. Right. So there's an anniversary yeah. around now. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So um, so oh, then yesterday. it was like a couple weeks. It was like a week or something after Valentine's Day. And mm -hmm. then, it, and then, then the anticipation romance. is nice. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then it was like special. So were y'all kissing cute. and stuff like that? <laughs> Yes, yeah, we like, okay, I know it yes, works. any type of intimacy. You guys no, did foreplay? No, and then by the time... I'm not doing this job. No, but... You get my hand job? Did he play with your... Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not but, nails. But no, and like by the time nails. you get oh. to it, it's just, you're so comfortable <laughs> with him, you can laugh. Now you can have a you good could time. Have it ain't all you time. super nervous. You always be nervous yes. giving somebody new your body, but... You know, once you then y'all know each other, been out a lot, you got drunk. Yeah, now it's yes. like I'm a little open. We can do it. You right. Yes. You lay there talking yes. for hours mm -hmm. in the bed together, yes. watching, having Netflix and chill night. Mm -hmm. That's how yes. you know you really care when you'd rather be in the house than outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta and force yourself to have a date night. <laughs> right, right. Like, see, we, with me and him, we just it's just naturally we be just. Chilling, it's still to this day. Like he got to that point though when I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. That ass, 
<laughs> ass, I felt this nigga was doing 12 hour ship, shifts outside. I said, hey, bro, come home. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm by myself. <laughs> right. Yeah, Hello, what happened? Still. Yeah, I feel like y'all broke up for a second on social media. Did we? I don't know. I feel like it was <laughs> like a I kind of we probably just distance because no, I be looking mad like at each other. It wasn't a real breakup. Yeah, you know how it is. You get no. Mad. I'm trying mm-hmm. to think. I'm trying to think our story. I feel like it, it was some chatter about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. That we broke up. Something. It was something. That was a long time ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. You probably yeah. was mad at oh, him you talk, and oh, blocked him for a second, and probably, you know they be and catching then they that. See you on like follow this. him, and yeah, oh yeah, because yeah, I done blocked them about ninety times. <laughs> <laughs> they just yeah. what? I done blocked that nigga, man. I ain't <laughs> never talking to him. Why again. you be blocking him? Because he be getting on my fucking nerves. So yeah. your black game's strong. And yeah. It, does he ever? Okay, when you unblock him, does he always follow you back? Cause yes, I, he follow me back first and be like. He he'll say me? something to one of my stories or something. <laughs> so he, he's like, he's yeah, then he'll see me like, oh, so you don't follow me? <laughs> like, no, nigga, I don't want to see you. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Now, when it comes to like finances and everything, we've been talking before we started. We were talking about investing. Yep. Do you guys have those conversations? Like, as we a have couple? those conversations, but you know what? How I feel about that, right? Mm-hmm. I would love to grow with my man and all that, but. When it comes to investments and stuff, I feel like you got to be married. Okay. You need to be, or some type of, that's just, man, you investing in. Mm-hmm. Right. You got to have legal papers going on somewhere. Man, I can't. I agree. Okay. <sighs> but you can invest in things together and still, you would still want to have some type of legal papers. agreement. Well, on she doesn't yeah, want to yeah. wait until she's married. Or, to- or, or even if it, we, we, ain't, we ain't married, I will say like, where we have an understanding because he had a situation before me where he had to just get what he was going to get because they didn't have an agreement. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and 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 I'm like, I like I told him, I'm like, you don't want that to happen again. You never know what what's going to happen. That's I mean, true. I love you and all that, but you don't know what might yeah. happen. Mm-hmm. And I'm not playing about, you know what I'm saying? I know he ain't playing about the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you ain't putting it in just because because it's fun. If you, you all were to get married, would you get a prenup? Mm, good question. <laughs> Damn, Jasmine. Like, what? Just I, I for I want a prenup when I get married. I, I don't feel like it's disrespectful for the guy to ask for it. I mean, there's things that you can work out. Everybody saw Sex in the City, <laughs> and she worked out two million dollars mm-hmm. when they, if they broke up, and she got the apartment. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know. So there's ways around a prenup so you don't just get left in the dirt, it, especially, if you're, gonna get, well, especially if yeah, you're investing okay. she'll, together. Well, she'll, she'll but I also herself, think, she I, think and I feel like you need your own. I, you know, yeah. you got your own money. Yeah, because so. I just feel like my money is my money. Your money is your <laughs> yeah, money. Yeah. Are you going to answer the question? Are you going to get a That's prenup? That's a yes, it sounds like. Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with I mean, it. like, this is what I think. It's, it, marriage is a business, too. Mm-hmm. It is. And so a prenup is not a bad thing. It's what you put. You could put anything you want in a prenup. Yeah, mm-hmm. in the prenup, I, it would definitely say my money is mine. Yours is yours. If I help you make that, I need my cut. If you help and me make versa. this, that's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? You know what I think is fair? Out. Whatever yeah. we came with, we leave it. But whatever we made together, together we split. split. Exactly. I that's think perfect. that's like the... And that's just... Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. And like, that's what you do with the lawyers. You work that out. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. That's the because easiest you know way. Why? And it's so crazy, but because we we really invest and it's just not money, it's time, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's knowledge, it's them late nights. I'm up with you helping you with your shit or I'm doing this. I'm putting my stuff to the, on the back burner to, to help you. you. So it's like you deserve some of that cut. Right. right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. whatever we did together, yeah. we need to negotiate. But yeah. what I come mm-hmm. with mine. And what you come with is yours. Yeah. yeah, I think that's so fair. That's fair. Yeah, you can come that's in with certain fair. things. Like, like then sometimes there might be a, they get so scared. There might be mm-hmm. investments that you make it's on your own. Bad. Though, like let's just say you get a big chunk of money. Like I have a homegirl who every time you know she um, produces stuff, and so every time she does a project, she buys a property, and that's Smart. what she does. You know, for herself, every new project, she's like, I'm gonna buy a new property. Okay. And that's so perfect. yeah, but if you were. I don't know if I would want to split that if I was married. But that's not his. That's hers. She bought That's it. right. But if you were married and it's something that was acquired well, if put during in, the marriage. It depends on how you, put put in? Put, how, how you guys do your finances. Yeah, he too. should put. I don't know. He doesn't. No, oh, but if he don't he, put it in, then, see, oh, yeah, no, then not, that's her money. That's his idea? Mm-hmm. But what if like, okay, reverse, right? Let's just say as a woman, let's say you're not working and he's buying, making money, buying properties. 
while you guys are married, but you're taking care of everything. Yeah. Shouldn't oh, you deserve so, something? Yeah, yes, like that. Yeah. Yes. But if you're working for him, yeah. Yeah. Then that's still half of what we did together because mm-hmm. you wouldn't have been able to do that do if that. I wasn't here taking right, care of exactly. everything. Exactly. If I wasn't taking care of the house, mm-hmm. making sure the babies are straight, mm-hmm. feeding you, staying up late, calling, the, you know how it be. You be the one calling the stuff and yeah. doing all the sh- No, she deserved that. But I would feel like if if we're married and you're out making these investments and you're not telling me or including me in that. Mm-hmm. Well, we're talking about how? putting money in. Like, let's just say if, you know, they paid for everything. Mm-hmm. Not that you don't know about it, but. Yeah, right. like when you're in, impo- when you're married, it's almost impossible not to know, to know. about the finances right. mm-hmm. together. Mm-hmm. You know, Although like it happens. You, yeah, it does happen. Yeah. Do y'all talk but about marriage? It's rare. It'd it be brought up a lot. <laughs> it be, what that mean? Brought brought up a lot. Think, you know, he would say I'm his wife. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Say, yeah. So if he uh, asked you tomorrow, look, why y'all doing that? Don't blow it up. Come on. Why y'all gotta put me on blast? Because mm-hmm. you're right here. Well, if he asks, he'll find out. That's a good answer. That was a good answer. Okay. That was a perfect answer. <laughs> if he asks, he'll find out. Mm-hmm. Now, who gets more jealous between the two of you? In your relationship. Like, because, just like what? Like, like I know guys be hollering at you, but I'm sure girls be hollering at him too. So who's the more jealous person? You know what? Honestly, I don't think neither one of us is jealous. I be, I'm big on respect. Like, I'll smack a bitch. <laughs> I'll smack yeah, a bitch. Yeah, I swear yeah. to God. Oh, I'll smack oh, a bitch. Oh, I'm God. I like, do don't play with me in my face like I that. I believe her. Yeah, oh, me too. <laughs> like, I dead ass see... Bitch, but, what? No, like, just don't play with me in my face. No, yeah. Don't, mm-hmm. so, That's, don't, yes. don't play with me like that. That's it. Other than that, I don't give a fuck. Right. I don't like you doing all that Instagram shit, all them liking pictures and shit. Ain't bitch about to be saying my nigga liking her pics. That's a fact. Is that jealous mm, yeah. or is that just a respect? But guys be like, I, like they'll be like, oh, I would just scroll through and like everybody's picture on my timeline. I don't like it. I don't, like I don't it. scroll exactly. through and roll exactly. and like everybody's picture. Like, I don't like everybody's picture. Natty. I just feel like <laughs> get a little bit more I like class. My friends, friends, a little more class. You know, I, or oh, if. Class. All that extra yeah. friendly, flirty shit. I don't like that. But well, does that mean that? So, what about you when it comes to liking pictures? I don't even like pictures. I like I, I like the same people I see. I don't even like pictures, so I yeah, don't do that. Yeah, because the algorithm doesn't even show you everybody. She so. said I'm not friendly. I don't like. I'm cool, it. but I'm not like friendly. Like, ooh, mm-hmm. I'm like this just because I see it. Like, yeah, no, I gotta exactly. actually like it. Like. I see some flash and I'm like, oh, that's you. Right. <laughs> Shit. Save it all. Honey. Right, yeah. But I don't just, yeah. I don't use it for that. Mm-hmm. And I watch who I follow. I only follow like 600 people because I got to see. What I see on my timeline is what I'm getting feeding every day in mm-hmm. my brain. Right. Right. So I don't even follow a lot of people that it's unnecessary to be, right. what am I liking nigga pictures for? It could be work and business though. Because here's the thing. You are Not artists. no naked pictures. Not no bitches that ain't doing nothing standing there. No. In a fashion over eyes. Yeah, all that. Like, like, what are you talking about? But I'm about? talking about you as an artist, right? Let's just say there's other male artists. Oh, another male artist dropped a project, I'm going to like it. Okay. Or if they got a fire caption, I might like it. Okay. Because I like that, them bars. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. stuff like that. But I'm not just like, oh, he cute. I mean, like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I hate it. So I hate it seeing <laughs> it be like uh, 115 <laughs> people and, and then you just see your nigga. nigga. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, uh, like, like, man, man, when I first got with him, I used to be like, what is you like, liking uh, everybody? Like, wait, what is you doing? What was his response though? Like, he did he get... Yeah, he stopped. Right. He, got, he, stopped. Got, he stopped. But what was his... Like, what did he say though? When what you every nigga him? gonna say is Instagram. What was Instagram for? That's what I had a guy tell me. I just used to go... Everybody, I just like everything. I'd be like, oh, this, this, right. oh, this is Instagram, a butt ass naked. This is Instagram. This, <laughs> she's okay, good. fine, okay, fine. Did he have to? Un- did he unfollow some people? Like, hell yeah, okay. Oh. And then I'm like, I ain't about to do too much, right? So like, just don't follow nobody new. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Why we together? You already them your home girls right. you grew up with. I'm cool with you having they friends. Got grand, they got Tracy grandfather got in. people he grew up with <laughs> that he's cool with, but. Right. Just don't play with me. Like, stop. <laughs> don't make me have to just... Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instagram causes problems. I see hard eyes under my man thing. I'm... But that's not his fault, right? If somebody no, it's the not. Eyes. But I, mean, no, I, I, I follow. I, I follow the girl. No, I comment. What? Like, exactly. Like, yeah. like the like the comment <laughs> put double hard eyes and a straight face. He like, fine, like, Annie, like, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought so. That's why I had a baby with him, ho. Nah. Say no. I ain't doing that. That's crazy. Like, I don't even follow, like, when I meet a guy. I'm just playing. I don't follow him at the beginning. 
Like I wait. Wait a little really? bit. Really? I follow you right away. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see what's up. I don't. Because you can find a lot about a personal <laughs> Instagram. Yeah, yeah, I don't, you but go. my friends do though. Like yeah, they'll if I'll be like such right and right such. Away. And mm-hmm. then you gotta go through the whole thing back to 2019. Mm-hmm. That's how you find all the baby mamas and all the eggs and everything. Did you see this post in 2022? I mean 2002. Like you gonna keep that up? Keep it around. Right. <laughs> back then <laughs> yeah so I don't know so when it comes to who the most jealous because Tracy Tracy he he's something else too <laughs> Tracy, I bet something else too so it just be like mm-hmm. I just feel like don't disrespect me I don't know if that's jealousy or not and I, if I am jealous so what it's respect but no, I just yeah, feel like it's yeah. respect but I also feel like it's not bad if you just say what what is you fucking yeah. doing mm-hmm. it's different when if you play games you know how some people will like play games and not say nothing to you but be mad and then yeah, go, all that lame just shit just say something yeah just yeah. say it so I can fix it because if I don't know how am I not going to do it again I'm going to do it again because mm-hmm. you ain't say shit and I don't even know what I did mm-hmm. right. now let me ask you this exactly. was he intimidated yeah. because of your music to uh, like really feel like he could be in a relationship with you because you know you be having songs and about being single and happy of course for everybody mm-hmm. all the experiences that you've had in the past it ain't that many that's like I love my man <laughs> so <laughs> how do he feel about that was that difficult and how, how about you and your mind space because I know you've been through some shit you know what? I just feel like that's why I intimidate a lot of guys. Mm-hmm. And that's why I never, that's why a lot of guys they be like skeptical. They be kind of a little walking on eggshells a little bit. But with Tracy, um, he had balls. Right. We respect that. He had that. balls. He tried it. <laughs> I can't do nothing but respect it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, but he like, like he, he'll, it's certain stuff he'll do that let me know that it, it do be in the back of his mind sometimes. Mm-hmm. But I he, feel like he got balls. Like what? Like when you say certain stuff. Like <laughs> I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna do. I ain't <laughs> gonna do I my baby like, like that. I was just. <laughs> I was just in the car listening <laughs> to. Um, I was listening to Bad Bunny, of Puerto Rican. Mm-hmm. So and I, I'm listening to all of his music, all these songs, and it's just like in style to be single and having fun and drinking and doing you know having a guy spend money on you it's just it's like it's okay it's like the vibe so I feel like if you're in a relationship with a rapper who's a female yeah. you shouldn't be mad if she says some fly shit yeah. you know what I mean like I feel like the stuff before like now when I make music I don't even like in none of my tape I said nothing about being single or none right, of that yeah, yeah, I, right. ain't, I just talk about getting money you know, yes. and I ain't really just going to bash a nigga when I'm actually mm-hmm. like, I love a nigga right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. um, and then it's like, that's your alter ego when you get behind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you get, you close them doors and you go in there and you get on that mic, you going to say whatever. Yeah. That alter ego fly. come out and mm-hmm. you going to say some stuff. You and know? that's some Detroit shit too. Yeah. Like, to be honest, all that flashy, like. <laughs> all that, we love that. We yeah. love yeah. the flash. <laughs> like Detroit is flashy. We I, like I that. <laughs> we love that shit. Gaudy. So it's, go- yeah, just in your face. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, but like Tracy make music now that I don't even make. He be, I got this bitch in Atlanta and this bitch in LA and I be like, you, well, you was what? in LA. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> Hold on, let's not wait a minute. Wait, when you wrote the guys, it's like the thing to have it. Like, it's he like, not this like is from p- before. This is from before. Like, no, he be like, I'm just making music. It sounds good. I'm like, and that's exactly what a man would say, you know? And but I, then it would be some like, truth to this shit. Right. Because huh? it would be kind of cool. It would be kind of cool if he was doing music that was like, I love my girl. Like, <laughs> right. That's what I was going to say. That's, that's what I told him. I'm like, first off, nothing wrong with that. You need to make some. Some some girl liking music like I don't want to rock to this and my nigga talking about fucking this bitch out of Mexico. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> when was he in Mexico? Right. So, did <laughs> so your... when you was in Mexico, nigga, Mm-mm. this was you was like. <laughs> did your music like change though? Now that you're in love and you're having kids, like so, have your music? Do you feel that you know? I don't you're... touch bases on niggas like that. Like. I really ain't super soft neither, so I ain't about to be on like, oh, I love you, baby. <laughs> Hell no, I'm not doing that. I just rather not talk about it because I'm not gonna say 
fuck a nigga too on my intro, on my intro I said right. fuck niggas I just feel but, like the music <laughs> isn't like when Fabulous was with Samia I really like you know but and then you know what's crazy that's verse. the shit I like listening to me right. too <laughs> yeah that in love shit cause that's yeah. how you feel in real yeah. life like yeah. if, if you think about Fabulous how many of those songs he got he do do a lot yeah. 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 a lot Fab's my favorite rapper yeah is, is he really mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. I love Fabs. yeah Fab my favorite I always say that all the he's time. definitely mm-hmm. one of my top five yeah y'all be sure. my favorite do you have rapper. any songs with him yeah, with Fab, mm-hmm. y'all, we did some. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. He he actually got on for everybody remix. Mm-hmm. It, it makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> and he said he said a lot of toxic shit. He did, Aww. and I had did something for him, but it, it just never our stuff just never came out. But That's we so gonna funny. put something out for sure. I would love to. Um, yeah, we would love to hear that. Yeah, yeah no, <laughs> but Fab it's like nobody does that. The guys want to talk about tricking their money and, 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 all and having or but this generation so toxic now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what they want to hear. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and people trying to sell records. So I just stay true to me. And just talk about getting money. Mm-hmm. But I also think, not necessarily, because I do feel like the quote unquote emo music, people like that a lot too. We love Drake. And he's so it. emotional. Right. Yeah. Really emotional. And that's why Drake is one of the biggest artists in the world right now. Yeah. Because yeah. mm-hmm. he going to give it all to you. He not just about to cater to this one fuck these bitches crowd mm-hmm. or I'm about this bitch shit this and I'm going to turn her up or, um, you know, like I don't need a hoe. Like right. he actually makes songs about being in his feelings. Yeah. Girls want to feel like you like him. Mm-hmm. That's why women no, love him. No, but sometimes yeah. he be saying flashy. He, he does. do. Yeah. That's why I said he made it right. Like, like, then he did the date with Twenty One Savage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he make a variety of music. I feel like that's why he but, one of the biggest I artists. Like I, I feel like Drake, the biggest artist, Drake. Yay, they like Yay did Eight Oh Eights and Heartbreaks mm-hmm. and. And I, that's one of my favorite mm-hmm. albums, and it's all about you know loving, loving, and, and you know his heart broken. Him every time I'm, I'm feeling cute, you know I put on, I'm, I got myself a trophy. I be feeling like, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Well, my yeah. cousin, you know, I want to feel cute and loved on. Like, I feel like people just like nowadays, they just want to say, fuck these hoes or I hate I it. buy a bitch this and she going to do this. And, but you I know what? It. You cashed out. And to keep it real, like with this, um, with this, uh, with this project that you just put out yeah. back on Dexter, I love the fact that I think about how like when you was first coming up, people was putting you on and now you kind of putting people on. Yeah. Like you got yeah. to the position where you're like. All right, let me put this person on, this person, mm-hmm. and then you back with like a Vezo. Yeah. Having him on here, Sada mm-hmm. Baby. Sada. Was- oh, we drop a video tonight. Oh, okay. Um, oh. Sada Baby. Skilla. Skilla, <laughs> Baby Money, Cash mm-hmm. Kid. He one of my favorites. Okay. Cash Kid, all Risk Taker, mm-hmm. Coach Me Joey, Deuce, all the Flint guys, YNJ. Mm-hmm. Um, Isn't it dope though to feel like now you in a position where they so hyped because they like, yo. Yeah, it feel good. Cash man. doll asked me to be on her project. Mm-hmm. It feel there. good and especially be a woman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, like dudes don't really be fucking, like Babyface Ray tell you. He never did a song with another girl but me. Wow, like, I didn't even realize that. He, they don't care to do music with, a lot of people don't care for like, you know, unless you like big, big, big names. Mm-hmm. But it's like for me to have that solid foundation at home i love all them niggas like them my niggas right because they really came through for me like you know because even though you know what i'm saying like it's a vice versa because i ain't dropped in a while and they yeah. all new and hot you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying and it was just like damn it was it just a little full circle man everything come back full circle like just i feel like the new rappers in detroit should feel really good to do a song with you they were they were they were always yeah, excited like, and i fuck with that, I fuck yeah. with that. they were excited i'm telling you that shit is an amazing feeling because i always talk about that when i first met cash doll and i was like it was that coast for kids so long ago oh yeah and i didn't know and them kids went fucking they lost their minds and i was like who is coming out <laughs> and it was cash Doll, and i didn't know who she was you know being from new york and i would that probably was like nine years ago or something mm-hmm. like that because i yeah, no, dead ass. Years. Like nine years mm-hmm. ago, you had big crowds. I I, I used did. to see it on Instagram. Yeah. Like, yo, cash <laughs> out. The way that she came out, I was like, her. yo, who is here? Y'all know what's so crazy is they still do that to this. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's and probably it's even probably crazier worse. now. And I yeah. sit back and I be like, wow. Oh, fuck I didn't have a run as long like God bless mm-hmm. why do you I'm think grateful. you have such lo- longevity cause a lot of rappers and female rappers can't do like I think it's years. exclusivity right and mm-hmm. being real with yourself and morals and just how you move man I think a lot of that play a part on top of the talent mm-hmm. cause yeah. you know somebody mm-hmm. they got a hit or miss or yeah, yeah, yeah. you know or they hit and, da, 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 and it just be like a phase 
it's like I just feel like you know, I don't, I don't hang around. I'm not cool with it. I don't do all that. Like, I like who I like, and I'm mm-hmm. cool with who I'm cool with. I feel like a lot of people they get hot, and everybody want to be around them, and they just around them taking pictures and all that. Mm-mm. And then and now you just look so easy, accessible. Like so everybody can touch you. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't like that. I think that, um, you know, when they just like just drop music over and over and over and over and over, and over again. I feel like you give them time. You eat that project. Do the next project. Do the next project. That's what I. This is what I think. Right. Um. Also, having morals, not sleeping with every fucking body. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. be a be a lady. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, make no, them I want you. The make them respect you. One thing. Yeah. Like, especially as a woman, make them respect you. Don't have sex with everybody. Like, why? Honestly, you I know? feel you know. Um, I, I'm a video vixen. Mm-hmm. There, that's not even a job anymore. Right. Because you've been you doing this I mean? shit just as long as exactly. me. Exactly. That's I know. what I'm saying. That's yeah. how we know for mm-hmm. so long. And I feel like the reason why I've lasted, I've kept the job in the industry, is because I made friends with right. people. I didn't be like, oh, let's go to the room right mm-hmm. away and of course there was offers right. and mm-hmm. every every place I looked mm-hmm. but instead I just stood cool I mm-hmm. wasn't nasty about it I know this is a man yeah. you're gonna shoot your shot I you know, know you're going I mean? and I'm gonna okay. and you gotta right. know how to spin these things. Yeah, you yeah, can't exactly. make you yeah. can't hurt that ego cause you're still gonna work mm-hmm. you, you gotta, gotta be nice right. so you yeah. gotta be nice with it exactly like, yeah. but I feel like it's it's different now guys gotta be more mindful of how they treat you too yeah you know yeah. and I think that's a positive thing because I mean it ain't like I I wouldn't I do agree it because I'm a woman. Right. I ain't like I wouldn't do it, but make me want to. Mm-hmm. Right. right. I ain't about to do and it and just because you motherfucking my... this person. Because you also can't, guys nowadays can't try to barter like, yo, you want to be in the studio? You want this? <laughs> right. Well, you got to fuck. Like, nah, that ain't nah, going to work. So, yeah. Did, that, no, had no. That ever, did that ever happen to you? Hell no. I don't think nobody nah, even... Nah, nah, I nah, think nah. they know not to try me like that. <laughs> right. Somebody recently said had a story saying that they were like, I'll give you this beat if you... I think Sh- it was Ashanti. Yeah, yeah. She wow. was telling Ashanti. She said that, but it was a while ago. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. Was, no, it wasn't now. recently. It was. Oh, okay. It was, yeah, yeah. she did tell a story. Too. I was yeah. Say, yeah, back in the days, this shit for was yeah, just no, this crazy. Is, oh, this is. And I'm pretty yeah, sure it's still happening now. It yeah. just probably hasn't, you know. It is definitely. What, like, you get this beat, you better fuck? Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure that's, and they probably getting it too. Because, like, honestly, did you ever feel like mm-hmm. just because you're a woman that you got treated differently ever? I yeah. mean, I know you've had a, you've always had a really strong personality. Yeah. But sometimes that can feel crazy, like, being a woman. Sometimes people do treat you Try, like, yeah, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like, you don't matter. Like, mm-hmm. I can't even, even watch comments, like, when they post me and all the guys and it's just like oh I was God, invisible. You can't even. Yeah. Like you telling me my shit wasn't hard. I know my shit was hard. You y'all just acting like I wasn't there because I'm a woman. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. if it's me and a whole bunch of niggas on the record, they gonna say all the other niggas. She did okay. But don't even acknowledge that I was there. I, I hate seeing shit like that because I'm a woman. So or I also I'm feel so like trash. they question women's li- like if she wrote or not. Like, oh I yeah, feel like yeah. When she comes to rappers, they or... always we never question if somebody wrote mm-hmm. you know another male rapper. But mm-hmm. as soon as we're talking about woman, women woman. rappers, mm-hmm. it's just like who's writing for her? And they also act yes. like guys can't listen to you if you're a woman. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, and it's like. You really, like, as a woman, you only have women fan bases. Like, you really don't have men. And it's just like, this project here is the first time I've seen a lot of men saying yep. that the project was hard. This is the first time. <laughs> Every time I've dropped something, niggas would be like, eh, I'm like, girl, shit, the bitch is this. <laughs> nah, yeah. y'all have, you have fans. They just don't be out loud with it. Because I see mad guys, like, playing some rap songs that I'm like, how you bop into that that hard? Honestly, <laughs> they I feel like I've that- seen stadiums going crazy over you for a long time. Yeah. I, I really feel like that. <laughs> it's been a while. Thank God you put out another project. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't you feel good? Yes. I feel like I got one off. <laughs> my cousin's not gonna let me live she's played that's how I even like got to know who you were yeah my cousin you, they still goes crazy about you like she turned into a whole nother person I'm like girl first of all you're not cashed off <laughs> sit down <laughs> you got like, like, die hard fans yeah, yeah, man. and that's and I'm in so Miami grateful for them. I'm so grateful man cause they keep me going cause it get discouraging you know it's like it's so many girls that come out yeah. you know what I'm saying in there it'd be like a whole big Baby, hype no, right then you know what I'm yeah. saying and it'd be like and I just be like man I'ma just do me stick to the Stick to the script. So, how, yeah. So, how do you 
not compare yourself or not feel like, especially when you had a baby and you got you see other women rappers coming out or another hit hit songs from other female rappers. How, what do you tell yourself that so that you you know don't that oh, you I aren't insecure? And, I'm not with them. Not, like I got over that phase. I had, okay, that was early on. Like when I first, like when all the girls first start coming out because you like you said I've been out for a while before yeah. that. So that was early on when they first start coming out that I had an issue because I was stuck in a contract and it was like everybody was coming out was just blowing up way faster than me. It was like everybody you know what i'm saying and yeah, i was just like matter. and i was stuck and i couldn't do nothing and i used to be bitter i used to be kind of angry yeah. you know what i'm saying i used to be mad i and feel then, like with you it was it was no gimmicks though you know yeah you i just were, kept it original you've been popular for your talent for being a, a good rapper mm -hmm. and a respectable woman yeah yeah you know what i and mean and before like even before like rapping like you know, I dance. I was mm -hmm. like that girl there. You mm -hmm. know, even before that, I was like the girl on the block in high school. I was that girl. So it's like, it's just in me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so, and I don't want to come off arrogant, but I'm real confident. So it's like now I see it and I just, I be in it. I be in comments of stuff. I like, like this fire or you look stunning or like yeah. you know, shit that I actually like. I'm not lying just so I don't look crazy, but I'm going to tell people that I actually fuck with. I comment, like stuff, all that. Yeah, and and I'll never forget when you first came on Lip Service um, a long time ago, and you talked about that. Mm -hmm. Just the confidence from dancing. Yeah, I and got how that before that you were shy. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we can't even picture that. Because I was a tomboy. Mm -hmm. I was a tomboy. I was a little boy, like coming to school and all that. Like I was a boy, like a little tomboy. And then when I started liking my first boyfriend, I started trying to get a little girly, but I was still a little tomboy. <laughs> so I and I never did nothing like being naked and sexual. I was always like. You know, I'd be fly, but it wasn't like, mm -hmm. I'm about right. to have these titties showing. I'm about to have that ass off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so I started dancing and that's where I got my confidence from. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And it played its part. And now you're doing love scenes on BMF. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, how was that for you? You know, I was the, like. Man, that first one on um, <laughs> season one was crazy, y'all. <laughs> Me and Meech, I said, man, what you got to drink? <laughs> <laughs> man, I had to go take a shot. I was I was really nervous. Before I left out the house, I was just pacing around like, what, what the were fuck you am most I about nervous do? about? Right. Being naked. Just being naked. Okay. Camera, right. it's cameras yeah. out, and it's like, you know, it, it never been a video of me around here getting fucked or nothing. Like, I don't do that camera <laughs> shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm like, wow. And it's like cameras out. My titties is out. My nipples is out. My stomach is out. And I'm like, but it, you know what? I need to get this off because right. I look good. Right. right. And y'all motherfuckers going to see me. <laughs> <laughs> and at least you see me on TV and I got paid to do it. And right. I'm not on a porno. You know what I'm right. saying? You're acting. You're I'm acting. acting. Like, right. not to be need an But the other thing is such a popular right. show. Everybody's seen the right. show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> what about now? Like after the baby and now that you back filming, like how, how you... Feel or have you had? Oh, no, I ain't had no more. I mm -hmm. will you if it comes up. Uh, like, I think I got off. I got my. I got my. I one did off. that. Yeah, I yeah. think I did it. You, <laughs> you know, because every big actress did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? like yeah. I just feel like Holly ain't nothing Barry wrong with it. You did an amazing scene in, in Monster Ball. Yeah, yeah. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. I remember I did Benita the Apple Bomb, and I was butt naked on stage at the Kanye concert in front of ten thousand people. You talking about you had on body paint? Yes, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and. You're right. I, I'm like, hey, let me get a shot. Let me get a shot. Yeah. I, 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 I need to drink. Did you, how did you feel when you watched it? I, man, my mama was in there. Oh, man. So I came <laughs> ran and put oh, my, oh, put my oh, hands on her face. I think we saw, I think I, you posted or did she post? I posted you it. Post, yeah, I And I wasn't putting my, yeah. my hands over her eyes. And she told me, let me see if you do it like me. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> That's no, right, I saw that. You know Let what? me see if you got I it from your that. mama. Right. <laughs> so I'm like, and I was pregnant when it came out. I was pregnant, and I'm like, oh my god. And then I did the carpet, and I had a stomach. And then the the show came out. They like the beach her baby dad. Then it was all a plan that oh irritated my god. me. No, oh my god, all that shit was irritating so me. Like, <laughs> you know, because uh, you know, like them <laughs> separate like the that two. Was acting, that was people. Acting. Well, we get we get invested. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, that means you did a good job. Yep. You right, right. Monique. Yeah. Yeah. We know you got pregnant on. Yeah, it. We right. got pregnant. <laughs> it happens. That's, That's good though that they put you in there because being from Detroit. 
Yeah. You know, and how did you, well, obviously you like BMF. You've been in there since, you know, the first episode, you know, yeah. season one. But for some people, they might've been like, oh, we got to see more Detroit people in here. We got to see while they in Detroit, like real Detroit mm-hmm. people acting. And, you know, who's more Detroit than Cash Dog? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I was happy to be a part of it. Like, I was excited. I was so excited. 50 called me himself and told me, like, I got the role. Yes. So did you send in an audition tape? Yep. Okay. I did. Yep, I did. I sent in one for Kato at first. Y'all seen Kato, right? I sent in one for Kato at first, and then it was like, all right. Wait, who is Kato? Was that was the girl she that died, died last year. Oh, time. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I liked her, too. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's my girl. Mm-hmm. That's why you wanted that one. But yeah, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, she was a boy. You know, mm-hmm. she was like, she was mm-hmm. hanging with the guys mm-hmm. and stuff. Like, yeah. genuinely, like, that's who I am. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, but then it was like, well, send this for this role. And I'm like, okay. And I sent it in, and like, three, four days later, he called me and told that's me awesome. I got it. Fire. I know you went, did you did you scream, jump up and down? I cried. And he called me on my dad's birthday. He called me on my dad's birthday. My dad died on my first birthday. So when his birthday come around, I'd be a little emotional. And he called me on my birth my dad's birthday. Oh, so that man. just made my yes. day. I'm like, yeah. That was your father. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that was my dad. Like, <laughs> what other roles would you like to to lean into? I want to shoot some shit. Oh, okay. Like action. Oh, yeah. I can I see wanna that. I want to do some no, Angelina, so good. some Colombiana. I, no, Ooh, listen, Columbiana. I did a right. fabulous video and they, I had the girl in the trunk and she was making noise and I had to take the gun and be like, shut the f-. <laughs> And it was the best it time It was fun. You life. get to get off. Like, yeah, I want to do it. I want to shoot everybody up. I, I can see you and set it like a set, it, up, set it off. I on. I was really feeling that. <laughs> set it off. A set it off oh, remake. Yeah. I could definitely see you on that. I want to do something like that. Then I also want to set just do something just totally different. Okay. Like some just crazy. Like a rom-com like, or something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or like crack A rom-com. Like a oh crack my God. Head. I don't want to see you as a crack head. <laughs> no. Like, hey. You know, crack you know, listen, listen, no. Listen. <laughs> crack <listen>. doll. <laughs> crack doll. Crack doll. I, I can see you being la madrina. To give it. <laughs> but not but it's a show range. I'd rather you be the dealer. The dealer. The minute. I don't want to see that. But you see Monique then. Oh God. No, it shows your range. Yeah. No, I want to do something really weird. Like be a in in a crazy home. Like, now, would you do any more? Like, I'm sorry, but I still be loving the Detroit movies. I love McGraw Ave. I'll be watching. Oh yeah, that's good. All yeah. of that. Would you go back to any of that? I mean, back to Keisha Roots. You know what? My own. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You need one. Yeah, I do my own. I think you should. Mm-hmm. You know that would go crazy. I would do that. I do that so, somewhere. I could shoot some shit up. Pow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause that shit would more like a strip club be next world level. or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause we saw you get um mushed up in 211. Yeah. Everybody hates that part. How was that for you? Cause every time I look at that, I'd be like, I know she was mad as hell having somebody just grab her by it was her neck. Cause it was acting. And I was yeah, like, yeah. like, I can't wait to see how it turned out. Like, <laughs> did it really look like I got you know? Like yeah. and then BJ, that's my that's my brother. <laughs> so Mm-hmm. Would you ever do reality TV? I don't know about that because I don't know. Like, what kind? I, I don't know. I you mean, have to call it a docuseries. Okay. Would you something, ever do a docuseries? I got it called a docuseries. Exactly something like reality, that. Because when I think right? of reality, I just think of love and hip hop. Yeah. No. And I just think of them boring oh, drinks. Yeah. And I'm just thinking about me going to jail. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, do, how, like, would you produce one yourself? Like, something, is there something that you would think that. You know you, what? It, it was something in the works called. Um, boss friends I was trying to do yeah um, yeah I would do it myself for sure mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like an yeah. ensemble kind of thing or just where you had control on you right. or... yeah like I, uh, definitely I'd be executive I mm-hmm. feel like that's important but, um, you have to have control like mm-hmm. because they'll make it look like for their benefits like, no like, they'll pull the, the rug right under your feet mm-hmm. yeah. well, but yeah, I want to say something like some boss women right. making investments doing things mm-hmm. having being a mom having a man cooking cleaning just showing what women do because i think we don't get enough credit in this world cuz we really run shit yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying like we really do everything yeah. i, I would want to show where people could just see how women really just multitask their whole day yeah. With going to pick up the kid, getting your hair done, getting your nails done, making sure you get waxed, making sure you look good, cooking, cleaning, being a rapper, being an actress, goddamn remembering lines, um, <laughs> playing with your son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Making sure you keep it's like, care how does it happen? Yeah. I ain't got no kids, but I tell but you, you my day got, be But you still have crazy. a lot going on. 
Just I did, Angela. You know launching a brand new <laughs> nationally I syndicated radio imagine. show. <laughs> yeah, like that. And then buying the businesses. A, buying all your property. Mm -hmm. Keeping up with all of that. You, all the paperwork. And listen, let me tell you something. people don't even know about that. And one of the main things I feel like that's important is for women to come together and invest together. Yeah. You know, in mm -hmm. investment groups. That's what I was telling mm -hmm. Cashed Out earlier. We might do something. So. No, we are. But <laughs> we are. it's the plan. <laughs> but I feel like those conversations are important. And when you get into that mindset, and I feel like on this mixtape, you were in that mindset of, I'm not just trying to like have somebody talking about money, like investing. You're talking about owning mm -hmm. and ownership mm -hmm. and nothing for nothing but those classes full of Birkins and all of that that you have that's, mm -hmm. an, investment. that's an investment that's all worth um, way yes, more money is. than yes. it was and then when you look at the bottom of that track list it say cashed out enterprise mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it don't say no it say it was so you get in your royalty you know? money yes it's licensed for a couple of years but it's cashed out enterprise yeah owning yeah so when I'm talking that talk I mean it you know what I mean? Like, and I be talking important. all that shit about bags being an investment, but I ain't sold the bag yet. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 so I she, swear to God, on everything I love, I have not sold That's how she talks about that bought, shit all one. the time. She talks me into buying bags. She be like, Jazz, you know it's an investment. Yeah. Like, okay. I do. I, I be and I'm sure, that. That's how you feel better when you get, buying yeah, something. That's how she gets me. <laughs> and I repeat she, it to myself yeah, when like, I'm it's buying an investment. Yeah. You got to have something to make yourself feel better when you about to spend this much money on something. Every time I don't feel like working, I look at the bags. I'm like, hmm, which one? For real, you sold one before. I've sold, sold a few. I've never yeah, sold I have not sold one, one yet. But I say it all yeah, the time. And like, you know what else I be doing? I, I never get sold a bag. One of my Birkins. And then though. I Google I what it's how worth. Do you do <laughs> yeah. That? No, you just, they, there's a lot of consignment places. But now I know the guy, he be calling me like, Steph, you got anything? But in your you closet? probably be selling the Chanel. Yeah, no, I sold, I've sold Chanel oh, and Louis Vuitton. I know you ain't sold no Birkins. No, 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 it's no, not. No, I don't no, have no, a hold on to those. I'm lying. I just um, sell one because I didn't really like it. It was, I, I sold my pink one and I sold it like right after I got it because I had to pay for things that I don't really want to talk about right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was, it, I, I got back, I got back like, Four times what I paid what for. You it. Paid oh wow! Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's what amazing. I'm saying. But I yeah. tell myself that all the time. I ain't so shit. I'd be like, this bag gonna be. That's and I and so I look it up. Only Birkins do that. No only Chanel Birkin. too. No yeah, Chanel, Chanel too. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, I'll look too. it up. And even like I had bought a Louis Vuitton bag. You know I me mean, when I bought it, mm -hmm. and it's hard to find. It was like a limited edition one. So I happened to go in the store right when the bag got put out, and I bought it. And then I went to another. Um, Louis Vuitton store, just looking. And they was like, you know, um, I had the bag on. And they were like, oh, my God, somebody came in here looking for that bag. You know that bag going for a lot because you can't find it. Mm -hmm. That joint is pretty. I should have got one, too. Which one are you talking about? That fur multicolor? No, the yellow. It's yellow, right? No, it's navy blue. But it's got like the LV. It's like a, um, and rainbow colors all over it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, which one are you talking about? <laughs> right. I, was, I saw a yellow one I really like. And I got the, um, yeah, it was. And then I got the Chanel heart-shaped bag. Oh, That's yeah. Cute. Which one you got? The black or the pink? I got a purple. One. Yeah, and I had reserve. I happened to go in the store again, and oh, no. you had to and reserve those, it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I got a few pieces that whenever I wear, they be like, "Bitch, do you not know?" Yeah, I want this bag so bad. You can't <laughs> find it nowhere, and I just be like, "Well, I'm really not getting rid of it now." I know. <laughs> saying to myself like one day if times get rough I might sell some bags <laughs> no when I don't want to work and you know I got bills and my bills are high as fuck <laughs> I just look like hmm which one which which, which guy one gave me a bag then I don't like him no more right <laughs> you said, that, and that's what I bought myself <laughs> now, have you softened up since being in a relationship like as far as do you feel like you're a little bit of a softy now cuddling and Mm -hmm. I love you and mm -hmm. she got a son. She's soft. Sorry, no, I'm soft. Yeah. <laughs> Cash can make me mushy. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. No, after you have a baby, you're totally different. Oh my God. It's like you start thinking about the world ending. Yes. And you, when I'm a dude, so I can prevent everything. him from <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. I, I'm so soft with Cash. Mm -hmm. What well, yes. am I doing too, though? Like Tracy, that's my that's my love bug. Oh, all right. He all right with me. <laughs> he all right with me. <laughs> Who said I love you first? He did, of course. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't say. And which you said it back? <laughs> or did yeah. you say thank you? Yeah. I said it back. Angela's so evil. But huh? <laughs> she would say thank you to a guy who says I thank love you. you. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, oh my God, thank you. Yeah. I haven't said it back before. I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. You like, said I thank knew, you? I knew, I knew that was coming. 
Where did he say it in bed or at another time? Nope, he just said it. He just said it. Like nothing was happening special. Mm -hmm. He just was like, I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys were having a good moment. You was like, I love you too. Yeah, I said it back. Yeah. I said it back. (laughs) You guys were having a good moment. You know, I mean, this is my first time doing this. Yeah. First time doing what? First and last, right? Like a real relationship like this, like living with somebody and like all this time. I like it. This ain't my, this. And my cup of tea, but you know, it's flowing. It's flowing. Good. I'm going with the and flow. you know, it's good. It's good because y'all both super busy. Yeah. And so I think living together is like, that's where you get to come together because you off doing this, he off doing what he's doing. And yeah. then when y'all home together, it's special. It's fine because, you know, you get tired of a person. You see each other every day, all day, every day, all day, every day, all day, every day, all day. You no. kind of just get tired. It's you got to be out doing something and being productive. No, I was yeah. just telling Angela, I think I have a mental problem because <laughs> when I'm single, I, I feel lonely. I want to be with a man. And then I have a man a and he's with me every day. And I'm like, get out. Oh my. <laughs> Leave my keys. <laughs> and go. <laughs> like, please, just go. <laughs> like, you know I what? Swear. I think that's our good balance. Cause like I just you have I just to have came somebody home. busy, and yeah, I just came home, and then I I stayed, and I just came home, and I stayed for a couple of days, and I came here, mm-hmm. you know, like then I go back home tomorrow because I be missing Cashton, right? Like really yeah. Cashton, yeah. that's the real thing. <laughs> you be like, Ooh, where's Cashton? <laughs> yeah, like I walk in the house looking for him. Be, <laughs> soon as I come in the house, I be screaming, "Where my baby at? Where my baby at? Look more." But um. So I think that's the thing, like missing each other and being productive and coming together and executing plans. We wrote down on the board. You know, we got a big board by the bed. Oh, that's I dope. got my side. He got his side. And we put down stuff we want to like get done. I like that. Yeah, that's And cool. we both get them done. And it be fun erasing them off, seeing who we racing, how quick. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I did this. I did this. I did that. <laughs> so it be fun. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, productive. We have a good time. He's stupid. I'm stupid. Mm-hmm. You know, like, we just. What did he think about the mixtape? He think it's hard. Uh, all right. So how is it when you're like playing music for him? Are you able to just be there with him? Or do you be like, all right, listen to it. I don't want to be in the room. Oh, no, I, I listen because I'm so I'm confident. So I'll be like, mm-hmm. man, listen to this. Shit. Yeah. You <laughs> want to see the reaction. Like, <laughs> did you hear what shit. I said? No. <laughs> He's like, listen to it. And he can listen to it. And I'll be looking at him listening to it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you better bop your motherfucking head. <laughs> now, if you didn't like something of his, could you tell him? Yeah. Okay, and yeah, have you done that before? Okay, and he told me before. Yeah, oh, that's shit. what I was. And then, then when I think it's hard, I'll be like, "Well, oh, you tripping this year?" Okay, what you said? I don't know what, what you talking about. about. <laughs> it's hard. Uh, and then I'll probably call him later. Like, I know what you was talking about. Right, right. Yeah, yeah like, I see what you mean, but the shit's still hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how was um? How was sex while you were pregnant? Because mm. <laughs> Jasmine was Jasmine I was, was I felt like a whale. You did. Oh. Uh, I just wouldn't feel confident. I couldn't get on top for real. It just wasn't, I just wasn't, I wasn't me. I wasn't doing what I do. Mm-hmm. How long did you guys wait? What? After you gave birth. Oh, we waited. Mm-hmm. I wasn't playing. They said you'd be fertile. Right. Yeah. Uh, you, get, you can <laughs> no, get pregnant wrong, immediately. You're supposed yeah. to wait six months, right? No. No, no, no. no it's like, no. I think it's weeks like six weeks. Six yeah. weeks. Yeah. But yeah. you are very fertile right after <laughs> you have a baby. Yeah, no, I waited. So you, only have, you only have one. Two. I have two, 22 and 12. Oh, okay. So, oh. She waited 10 years. Wow. <laughs> you waited 10 years? No. <laughs> I was 16 when I had the, I don't know how, I was, but then again, too, I was by, I was literally. You look so good. Oh, thank you. You have a 22 year old. Thank you. Yes. Mm-hmm. I was like by myself. Like I had, it was just me. Like my mom left when he was a month. Old. Oh. So it was kind of like, I, I, that you was like, hard. That again. Yeah. When, especially when you don't have that much help. Yeah. It yeah. really takes a village. Yeah. What? Yeah. And in really the intro, does. you said you had postpartum. Yeah. Are you still um, feeling like you're dealing with that? Or Mm-mm. do you? It, and it wasn't like I was just going crazy. I just didn't care for myself like that. Like mm-hmm. I normally would. Like, you know, that's a part of our personal hygiene, getting hair and nails and yes. mm-hmm. that's like, that's not, a, that's normal. Like mm-hmm. I just didn't want to do nothing. Y'all, I'm talking about bushes <laughs> under my arms. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's not cash dollars. That's, that's not me at all. Yeah. I, was just, I was going through that and it got to a point one time I was just crying for no reason. I don't even know what I was crying for. I wasn't sad. I was just crying. Did you know it was postpartum? Yeah, I'm okay. like, I'm, this ain't me. But for the most part, Tracy tell everybody like she was good. Like she really held it down. Like he'd be hearing stories from his friends and he'd be like, 
My girl wasn't nothing like that. Okay. And then so my mom good... came. Yeah, I had a good one. And he was there for the most part before he was just outside. I think he was outside. <laughs> um, and then my mom came and then my sister, she just came back like around July, August. And that's my road dog. So she she got him now. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And Tracy have him when I'm gone, when he at home. So I got a system now. That's my great. mom and my, yeah. they stay yeah. right around the corner. My sister stay with me. So... I got a good system. Postpartum yeah, that's huge to have, like, if, like, to go through postpartum. Like, I feel like people who has a actual s- village or a system th- that support, mm-hmm. it helps. Because h- how's your postpartum? It was bad. It was bad. Yeah. It was like, bad. Yeah. yeah. yeah what was you time. doing? Like, what were you doing? I just couldn't, I couldn't stop crying. Yeah. I just couldn't get it. To, and then it was like, I couldn't, I didn't feel like myself. Like, mm-hmm. I just, it was just weird. Like, well, I got a baby. That was and me. Then, like what? Mm-hmm. What is this? Is it? Like it felt like a death. Was you you still with the with your guy? <laughs> no, we were. I mean, he was around. It was, I had support. It was just it, I couldn't get it together. together. Mm-hmm. Like I ch- I just couldn't get get it. Together. I couldn't. I couldn't. I would just be crying. And then also like I couldn't even do things like communicate. Like I would try to like talk and mm. and I couldn't get my thoughts, my words mm-hmm. out. It was weird. Right. Really? How yeah, long did it no because how long I did it last? Like, no, it really for a while. It it, for a while. it got better. But your it's brain for a while. it changes your you brain. You be- like your organs moving around, moving around everything. Like that baby it stretching fucks everything up your head. head. Yeah. Do you, do you like when I had now? postpartum? Yeah, but I'm on medication. Oh you smart had to get on medication for that's what medication do they I'm like an antidepressant. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I yeah. But, I, I, but I, the thing is also like I, I have anxiety. I battle depression. I have a business oh, that yeah. I mean, I have I'm an entrepreneur. I got I got to pay people like I just have a lot. And then I had a baby and then, you know, yeah. it's just like, huh. <laughs> and I'm, I I live a different kind of life. And then to have a baby is like, oh, I got to sit down. Like, oh, I can't. Yeah. And you know what? We get used to it. When, you know what I'm saying? Like that been our time. life for so long. Just yeah. getting up doing what the fuck we want to do. I do whatever I want to do. Now I can't do Hold on, wait. You telling me you running shit? It's cash. Yeah. <laughs> so now I gotta ask you, can I go? Right. Like, I ain't never yeah. had to ask nobody or make sure somebody was straight before I leave or now you on my mental while I'm gone. It's like, you know, that, some, that, some there alone, have... we be stuck in our ways. And I know yeah. when we finish this, you about to FaceTime him right away. Yeah, yeah. I know, Aww. I know. Because that's what Jasmine about to do too. <laughs> Uh, what you doing, Snug? <laughs> I've been singing you know, to her. She be like, and some women have postpartum <laughs> that they don't even want the baby. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I didn't, I didn't feel like that. I just felt bad about everything else. I would be good to the baby. No, I wanted her. I just, yeah. but it still was like, what am I supposed to do with I'm this? I'm holding her crying. Like then I feel mm-hmm. bad. I'm like, because I know she could feel my energy, oh, and you know really? she's looking at me like. And I know you had no idea what it would be like because before mm-hmm. she had the baby, she was like, okay, Angela, after the baby, a month after, let's go away. Let's go on a trip. I said, Jazzy, yeah, you're not right. going to want to go nowhere. Uh, yeah. After you have this baby. I was like, like yes, I will. And she was like, and then I, what I, happened? She I literally was, said, oh, nothing's going to change after mm-hmm. I have the baby. That's what I thought. That's exactly I what know. I said. That's why it had to be so hard for you to go right back to work. That's yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. After you had the baby and, and then be you know away what? from your baby. It wasn't it was... really hard, y'all. Because I no, honestly, I think that out. helped. That helped me be a better mom. Mm-hmm. I got it to does do help. something because when you're stuck it gave in me the house. balance. Only thing I didn't like about going back to work is because I was I didn't feel myself right. Yeah, I was chunky. Yeah. I had body, the baby weight. You, way, like you the know what I mean? Yes, but it was good for me and my mental just to get out the house with him and his dad. No, you didn't feel guilty. Nope. That's good. No, because I was like, you know, and I, the, the reason I didn't is because I got off breast mil- off the breast milk, and he was on, you know, his his formula. It's so much easier and that after me. that. Yeah, because I'm like now I don't feel bad. I would feel bad if I was gone and he needed me and I was trying to pump mm. and doing all mm. too much. Mm. Yeah. So I felt I, it really made me a better mom. It right. made me. Like I used to get in the car after I got done. Like I pull up, what you (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I'd be excited to see him, but I need that me time. I need that me time. And and then the me time with doing something I love and I'm being productive and I'm making money. All of that is perfect. You right. know what I'm saying? That was, like, she was good. Not listen that baby. Baby. Nope. Listen. <laughs> at all. Okay. Period. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. Are you going to go on tour for this, um, for Back on Dexter? Yeah, if I do, I'm going to go like when it's hot so my baby can come. Okay. Yeah, and mm-hmm. he don't get sick mm-hmm. moving around like Has that. Has he flown before? Man, Cash and have been in California. <laughs> yeah. I've been in Jersey. Right. He outside. Detroit. He outside. Cash outside. been outside. Okay. okay. <laughs> he been outside. He got passport. He outside. He got his passport. You do. How long did you wait? What what to, to bring him outside or to have him travel? I waited till when the first time Cashton flew. My 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 baby sister prom that was in June. That was his first time he flew to Detroit. 
How old? How many months was he? He then? was six, going on six months. Okay, mm-hmm. that's good. Mm-hmm. That's I good. Still ain't, I, I still ain't brought rain on. The yeah, planet. like I, no, I, how, how I, I could it? She, a year and a half. Oh yeah, you though. did say that. You mm-hmm. said yeah. yeah. Well, she's a smallie, right? She big now. She can't. She was premature. She big now. She was barely three pounds when she was born. She was really? premature. Yeah, she had emergency C section. Oh yeah, neck body calls a lot of you. <laughs> it's my fault. Stop it. Fault, yeah. It's not my fault. Yeah. She yeah, was doing all kind of shit outside, like out. she wasn't pregnant. I thought, yeah, I was so. Uh, you just thought just it was normal. Yeah, we was, was at a concert. She standing up outside. She was at Angela hundred degrees. <laughs> she whining on the stage. I'm like, girl. Now, now you, now you're exaggerating. <laughs> exactly. But I, I was out. Like still, like I wasn't. Drinking or smoking, but I was out, like you know, just out. Cause that's my life. I didn't know. I don't know. Right, you don't know no better, else. right? Yeah. You wouldn't do it if you got pregnant again. You'll be like, you know better now. She probably yeah. would. No, but I was like, <laughs> I would cry. I You're would crazy. cry for everything. <laughs> no, but seriously, Cash I just want to say congratulations on the new project. Thank you. I love it. I love Thank hearing you. you talk your shit. Thank you. I and, appreciate that. And I think it was a great idea. No, for you it to was go back fire. To we were listening to, to do it. That. Yes. It was really fire. Thank I was you. like, I'm, I, because I don't listen to new music. Like I said, I was in the car listening to Bad Bunny you know, from two, 10 years ago, his first right. album. <laughs> so you know you what I'm saying? To the old, like, yeah, I no to the old shit. And I said it. I was like, I was like, I think I'm about to start listening to Cash Doll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I swear, because it That's was dope. so fire. That's dope. I appreciate. I was like, this a new one. This the new one. Cause don't I you feel like an, I feel like everybody trying to sign Detroit rappers right now too. Yeah, I think it's a Detroit wave, and it's like we finally got this spotlight mm-hmm. that we've been needing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. been needing because we've been fired. And y'all, the way like the rap is so distinctive too. <laughs> it's different. You could tell when some they yeah. from Detroit. <laughs> yeah, they from Detroit. In the beats, the the beats. <laughs> it's the beats for me. They so dark. Yeah, and also the way y'all ride the beat is a little different. I feel yeah, like. it's a little off beat. Yeah. It's a little. It's a, a little off beat. Beat. I mean, oh. It's not. That's what it's known for, though. It's a, yeah. the, y'all ride the beat a little different. I feel like. Yeah. Right. It, it yeah. probably off beat to y'all and to us. It's on. Yeah, it's off beat to you. It got an accent too. <laughs> you think we got an accent? Yeah, Detroit. Well, you guys have your I own love lingo Detroit. too. I yeah. always like Detroit. You guys have fur coats and yeah, because Detroit not too far from New York. Like yeah. with the furs and I the flyness, like you know what I'm right. saying? Like Detroit is, we into that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got Cartier. Too. Mm-hmm. Shout out to you, Cash Doll, though. I honestly love to see like the elevation at all times, you know, and I know that like even with this acting, with the music, it's like you're not letting up on nobody. So congratulations. Mm-hmm. Yes, now I got cash in. You got cash in. Congrats. It's over. It's really over. Never letting up. I'm never letting up. It's <laughs> on the flow. <laughs> it's on the flow for sure. <laughs> but thank you, y'all. I appreciate it. And I, and I had a good time up here for sure. Every time I come up here, you know I fuck with you, young. You know, know, you know, man. you know, you my girl. And we always <laughs> talk about doing some things together. I actually, I did her um, album release party. I came yep. to your birthday party yep. in the middle of the damn pandemic. I remember that. <laughs> I, I, was got got outside outside in Detroit. I was like, shit, I don't time. feel right. It was a good time. <laughs> but it was a good time. It was a good time. <laughs> Oh, At least you had a good time. She, we was outside. I think you did get COVID after that. No, I no got, she didn't get it. I got COVID in Atlanta. Yeah. Oh, in Atlanta. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah, you got yeah, COVID yeah. in tech in Austin. Austin. No, 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 you didn't no, get I didn't. It I didn't get it. I got Atlanta, COVID in right. Atlanta and then we went to Baltimore while I had, and that's when I found out I had it. And she spread it mm. around in Baltimore. No, I didn't. No one else got it. And that's the worst when you got to call people and be like, hey, because we got to let you know. So how you start this off? Yeah, yeah. babe. Uh, be like, uh, hey, you uh, good? Uh, Listen, I just had to let you know. I just tested positive. I, I, I was around quarantine. you. Right. Yeah, yeah. Why don't and you I'm know? Like, Who was it? Kevin know. Lyles was there. Brent Fires was there. Oh, I had gosh. to, God. Oh, That's funny. I hit Brent. I was like, hey, just to let you know, he was like, Wait, uh, was I there? I was there. You was there? I oh, was. I don't think I told you. I don't you. think you told me. Damn. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, you did. No, you did. <laughs> no I told everybody yeah, I was did. responsible. Yeah. yeah. Just think, imagine having to call somebody and be I, like, I remember I had COVID. And I didn't have I was I didn't get at it. home sick. Did you mm. have it after Cashton? Nope. Okay, it so it's before. before. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you get it? In Atlanta? Nope, I was in Detroit. Oh being shit! Bad. She's like in Atlanta. <laughs> like there was I was being spreader. bad. I was outside, and, and you know what's so crazy? That whole weekend, I kept saying, I kept calling Corona, uh, Coco, Ooh. and I was like, "Fuck Coco, and fuck Coco." Uh, Having the crowd, crowd saying, <laughs> the crowd was saying it too. I'm like, "Fuck Coco." I went home three days later. I'm like, "Coco." Oh, Coco. Coco. Yeah, was, was, it, Coco. was it your birthday party? I think that's. I think it was because I remember. I think. People had got it and I didn't get it, thank God. But I remember people had got it. I kept telling everybody, fuck Coco. Well, Coco said, oh, you want to play? She said, oh, bitch, you want to play with me? I heard you looking for me. Coco, (laughs) whoop my 
Here I go. Here I go. <laughs> go say Coco in the mirror three times. Uh-huh. She come out. <laughs> and that bitch appear. <laughs> All right. Well, Castro, again, thank you so much. I know you'll be back. You of know. course. Of course I'm coming back. Of course I'm coming back. All right. Always a pleasure. Make sure y'all get yes. that mm-hmm. back on Dexter, baby. Mm-hmm. 